Today I'll be showing you how to make a player ID system for Minecraft Bedrock. This tutorial is very short and small, but it's useful for a few projects I'm going to show you how to make in the future. So the first three commands and these first three command blocks, you're going to run them in the order that I'm showing, right? And they're just going to set up the scoreboards and set up the display for the scoreboard, right? And what this thing does is it allows you to differentiate every single player based off of a number or their score that they that they were given the first time they ever joined. This is useful to you because you can copy the score that's given to the player onto an object or another entity and then that entity is linked with the player that created it which allows you to make mobs that like don't damage you or make plots for sky gens very easily without using tags and overall it is very useful all the commands are going to be available in the description right now in the video i'm changing the commands to allow you to uh test to see if it works if you're the only player on the world by changing it to target entities instead of players so it'll actually give a unique number to all the entities um, you should see this result um, if you do that where all the entities have a different number, if all the entities show a, the same number as each other right right when you turn it on, then you might have a problem. And there will be a little bit of lag for it to keep up, um, but that unless 700 new players join your game within a couple seconds and then immediately try to go over to like buy a plot, if you're using this for a plot system, you should be fine, although there is a way to make it handle more people per second. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. Um, what you're seeing in the background here is just uh, a gun project that I was working on uh, on this world. Um, the Mark IV version of this gun, which is not the one you're seeing now, uh, it's easier to code, but it does use this system. The Mark III version doesn't use this system because it doesn't need it, um, and it's a lot longer to code, but it gives you these fancy particle trails, which is worth it in my opinion. That being said, enjoy the last 10 seconds of video.